So hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm roving the canal in search of one specific fish. I got a tip off from somebody um, through a messenger that there was a pike locally in one of the basins that had some line tethered out of its mouth and a float getting dragged around. Not quite sure what type of rig it is. I've got to assume it's probably a pike rig. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've come out here with just some ultralight gear to catch some small bait fish and a pike rod to be able to chuck out the live bait and fingers crossed we can catch this pike. This isn't normally a method I do this time of the year just for fun. I only rarely use live baits for getting underwater footage um, but when it comes to a pike that potentially needs my help um, I'm going to use the easiest way possible to try and catch it and help that fish out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the area where apparently this pike was spotted. I'm going to cast uh, get some bait fish, cast them around and fingers crossed we can catch this pike and uh, help it out a little bit. Now because I don't know what sort of situation I'm dealing with, with this tethered fish that I'm going to be targeting, um, I've decided to bring some bog standard uh, gear that I would probably take if I was to go dead baiting for pike or general pike fishing. So I bought all the general tools that I would need if I was to catch a fish with a, it was deep hooked or oddly hooked or had a rig down its throat. So I've got some extra strong, extra long forceps for getting down there, down the pike's throat if I need to get right down there. And I've also bought some cutters in case you need to cut the points of any hooks to be able to get this rig out of the pike's throat. And obviously I brought my mat with me if I need to have this pike on the bank for a prolonged amount of time to be able to unhook it. And a nice big net, my XXL Predator net um, from Abu Garcia to be able to retain these fish in the water um, if, I need, if it's going to take a long time to be able to try and get these rigs out of this fish's mouth. So I've come fully prepared. I brought a 30 gram rod so it's not a bog standard dead baiting rod because I was wanting something light so I can move a lot because I don't know where this fish is going to be I know a rough area but I might have to do a lot of traveling so I bought a 30 gram rod um, loaded with 40 pound braid so well strong enough and then I'm going to be fishing just a single treble hook on a trace obviously pike can wolf down baits this time of year so just a single hook so I can quickly hook onto these pike and hopefully land it and get this, this rig from out this pike's mouth let's crack on see if we can find it and hopefully catch it so it's time, it's time to try and catch some bait to uh, try and locate this tethered pike. I'm going to chuck a bit of bread and I've not got much bait with me actually um, to catch bait fish with but this bit of bread roll should be good enough. A bit of brioche bun. See if I can even cast it out. Bought me super ultra light rod to try and cast this little pieces of bread out. Might be able to. Not bad. Oh, that's a bream. I did not want a bream. I was trying to catch silver fish. Go away, you bream. I'm not going to put you in my net. You're going to stink it up. In fact, I've got a scourge on me. I'm just going to scourge him in the water. Although he'd make a cracking live bait, wouldn't he? Oh, what are you doing to my line now? You weirdo. Damn it. It's going to hit live, isn't it? I'm just going to scourge him in the water. He come off. We got rid of him. Right, let's try and find this pike. We've got an overhanging tree here. It's probably under there somewhere. Try and find it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've just had a take, I'm pretty sure. Let's go for the strike straight away. We got it. Don't know if that's the one that's tethered. It's a good sized pike though. I can't see any line coming off it. Oh, there is, there is, there is. I got the fish, I got the fish. I think, yes, yes, it's definitely a float hanging off it. Yeah, good size. Oh, it's a waggler rig that's hanging off it. Someone's obviously caught a roach and the pike's taking it. Summer pike road is fire. 
I'm here looking out for a great big pipe float bobbing around, wondering where it is. And it's just a, <laughs> just a waggler. <laughs> Chunky, healthy fish though. God, so I've got, you <laughs> don't realise, I've got this drag set really tight. It's just so strong. Oh, now I've got a family coming, that means they're all going to want to see what I'm doing. There we go. He's a fat fish. Super, super fat. Here we go. God. Oh, he went in the net and came out. Please, I can rid it of the rig that it's got. annoying fishing public place because there's so many people watching I've got people watching me already oh, I can't land it too much power here we go we got it yeah there's a crystal waggler hanging off it nice size pike what we'll do is let him rest I've got a mat that I can set up put him on the bank we'll take a look get my rig out of him get that rig out of him happy days Right, so we're going to get this pike out, just landed it, it's a really nice one. Got the mat set up just onto the towpath, so he doesn't get injuring himself if he flops around too much. Been resting a good while because he's been chatting to a bloke. It's a really nice sized pike. Probably a solid 12 pound or so. So I've got to get two rigs out of his mouth. A standard float rig that someone's obviously got broken off on. And my rig. Well, I struck nice and early and uh, that's one of the good reasons about striking early is you can uh, pop your hooks out really early. <laughs> that one didn't even um, need unhooking, he unhooked himself. Let's cut my line. I just want to sort, get my rig out of the way. So I can take a look at this other line that's down its throat. So I can see the line literally down its throat with a, a roach on the end of it. So I'll put him back in the water for a little drink. We'll get in my car and we'll take a look at where this rig is. I think it's just a standard bog standard float rig that someone's got snapped off on and he's got the he's got the bait fish right down his neck, which is what it looks like. I'm hoping what someone hasn't done is just bang some treble hooks on to a standard float rig and then um, cast it out because I've seen people do that in the past. I'm really hoping that's not what's happened. He's a really nice size pike. There's a lot of line hanging off this rig that's in that fish's mouth. Got a little crystal waggler there. The line's going all around its mouth. Okay, there's there's a two rigs in it. There's a hook in the side of its cheek here. Yeah. Don't need bite me. Let's get the plies on it. There's a hook in the side of the cheek, just a little like a size 20, someone's obviously got caught up on. There we go, pulled that out. And there's some more line going down his neck. I think someone's just been casting out for this pile. Look, there's the, the float rig. I'm trying to be fast here. And there's another rig right down into its throat. It's only a, a single hog, but obviously somebody has been stupid enough to um, decide to try and just catch this pike, just chucking out the roach on the standard float rig. And there we go, there's another hook. So I pulled two hooks out of this pike's mouth. One of them in the lip, one of them down the throat. So he's either, I'm going to rest him now properly before I take a look at him. Proper fat pike though. Let's get all this line out of the way. God, he had so much line attached to him. I'm a good rest. So what's happened is, this pike, look, he's ready to go already. What's happened is, I'll show you now, there's all this line, right, with someone's hook attached to it, a small hook, small barbed hook, 
that was attached into the corner of this pike's mouth and then there was another hook that was right down the pike's throat that I managed to get which is just a normal small single hook that was tethered to another piece of line so I don't know whether somebody's either attempted to catch this pike just by chucking the, the fish out that they've just caught on the rig or if it's just a plain accidental this pike's an absolute lunatic and he's, he's just snapping people's rigs off left right and center we don't know but either way i've saved him from all this line that's really thick line he was never going to actually break that from swimming around so i'm glad that i got all that out of his out of his mouth and out of his throat so mission successful thankfully it wasn't a pike rig down its neck but um we really did help this fish out we're gonna have to get him out now we're gonna have a little look at him because he's a really nice fish we'll slip him back and then we'll go home there we have it proper nice pike probably about 12 or 13 pound really fat healthy fish really good condition had a couple of rigs in his mouth we got rid of them both and he can go back fighting fit healthy strong and carry on feeding hopefully not taking anyone else's rigs <laughs> let's get him back so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this one I, it wasn't my usual video where i go out talking to specific species on a certain method it was straight up trying to get the one fish um, in this one area with a rig all caught up in its mouth to hopefully help it out and land it and um, get the hooks out and i managed to do it so i'm over the moon that fish has gone back nice fighting fit without any other rigs in its mouth and can live another day and live comfortably so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want to and i'll catch you guys later